So this is Devin's house. Um, so do you want? We're gonna have Devin come up. Yeah, or, let's do that. Um, yeah. And tell me about. On, okay, Devin. let's let's tell me about what we have come going on, on here. Get up there. And Devin, you have a couple of different scenarios here, don't you? Well, I in didn't know what Toby would want to talk about. That's what I was going to ask oh, you. Oh, you know we can talk about anything you that's want it. to talk about. So this is a space as you, that's the front door, as you, you come in and it opens mm -hmm. right into your space. That's the main entryway uh -huh. right there. The ceiling, they don't have a picture up, but it is literally the floor of the upstairs. So like the rafters, you can see the exposed there is rafters no upstairs. Way to put electricity, uh, you know, electrical. Okay, so, so you no can't lighting. have a lighting fixture there. So it's mm -hmm. a dark space. The carpet, you know, just the lighting, everything makes it a really dark space. Mm -hmm. So, so if we're trying to think about, well, first of all, tell us what you think your style <clears throat> is primarily. Well, uh, this is all very traditional, but I don't actually love any of this. So does everybody think that's traditional, also? No. I don't really think, it doesn't read as really super traditional to really? me either. Okay. Um, the the mm. sofa has almost a mid-century uh, vibe to it, the way it's low and long, and the, the these table. chairs over here also are a little bit glamorous. So I certainly see traditional things happening in there, but there's a lot of clean lines happening in this space too. Mm -hmm. So I think you might be, it, it, it's so interesting everyone's interpretation of what's right. traditional and what's modern. So, so tell me if we were if we have a challenge here if we were going to work on one thing as light, lightening the space up. Lightening the space. So, do you have you had any ideas of how to do that? Well, um, I don't really. I, there's nowhere to put lighting in so this space. So, one of the tricks I use a lot of times, and I think we talk about it in a session later, is the idea of using room-sized rugs. So, I use rugs mm -hmm. that go almost all the way to the wall that are only like six. To 12 inches from the wall and if you did that in this instance what I would typically do is I would have a larger rug and there's probably do you have a, an electrical outlet on either side of on one of these walls in the back there yes okay I want us to shift over a little bit <laughs> um, so if the, so what I would do to lighten this up from a function standpoint already like for lighting I would run an extension cord under a much larger rug and you could have lamps on either side mm. of your sofa. And then that might, if, so if we were blending, you know, yesterday afternoon we were blending function mm. and style. So one of the ways you could bring a new style into the space is right. what kind of lamps you used. Whether they were mm. sort of a collected look or if they were right. more glamorous or if they were more traditional or urban. So that's one of the first things that I would do to this okay. space would be to use a larger rug so that it actually would hide. And there's some extension cords that are really flat or you can even tape right. them down. And I'm constantly yeah. hiding those under a rug so that I can get lamp lighting. I, there might actually be outlets right ah, under the edge even better. of the mm -hmm. <laughs> carpet right there, but they're, they're closed up. And a lot of those are tricky as well. So from a function standpoint, the people right. who design floor outlets didn't figure out that if you're going to put a rug over them and you put a cord in them and they're not recessed into the ground, right. the cord sticks up about this far. Right. So another trick when you're space planning and this is sort of a, a, a little bit of a uh, hint towards what we'll be doing in my session in March with function. Oh. Um, another trick is to just get a, have a rug, maybe something sort of like this that is not super expensive. It's not an oriental, so it doesn't have an all over pattern, but something right. that you would, maybe you wouldn't be comfortable with, but you could have someone help you cut a slit in the rug that's not right. very visible. Would you and let lighten the cord, up the rug? You could. Let the cord pop out and then situate your furniture so it hides the cord. And so right. also thinking about styling, if you're going to have a cord under the sofa with lamps plugged in, you might go, well, I am more traditional and probably I need to think about a skirted sofa because mm. from a function standpoint, you're not going to see the cords and the wiring that are happening underneath. Mm. So a lot of things play into function plus style. And then right. we've allowed you to lighten up the space and then bring in some other elements that could be um, a, a, an addition to the style you already have that really solidify that or something completely out of the box that might be fun to introduce a new style. Okay. Good. Good. Fine. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.